Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So excited to share today's video with you. I think it's going to be a really fun one that will get you in the Christmas spirit. Today's video is sponsored by Wonderbly, and you guys, I am so excited to share with you about them because they are the best gift that you can give. Shows thought, personalization, so, so cute. And so I'm really excited to share with you guys the books that I created for special people in my life on Wonderbly in this video as well. So a gift idea and a Christmas home tour, what can get better than that? So without further delaying it, we are gonna jump in. I'm going to show you guys my home, how I decorated it, and kind of explain my style and the way that I like to do things. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If it got you in the Christmas spirit, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below if you have decorated your home already, but let's get into this. So as I mentioned, Wonderbly is an awesome, awesome company I was so excited to find online where you can go and create personal books for your kids or as gifts like this one here is for my new nephew coming they are so so sweet so one of the best features about the inside of your wonderbly book that you make right on their uh, website is that you can leave a dedication page so whoever you're gifting the book to they will always remember that it came from you and you can type out whatever you want to include so a little message on the inside of the book another really awesome thing that is available on the wonderbly website website is that you can preview the entire story before you order the book. So this one here is one that I did for all four of my kids. So this is a great option if you have more than one child or if you wanted to do one for, you know, all of your nieces or nephews. And again, you can dedicate it, which I did on the inside here to all of my kiddos. And you can see right at the front that all of their names are included. And so it's just so fun for kids to open up a surprise and see that they're actually included in the story. You can check all of these um, book options out. There's bedtime stories, there's this one, uh, where are you? And then that's my son's name where you know he can find himself in the pictures. There's this sweet little story that I just wanted to get for my kids so that they have something to remember. Um, and then this one was for my youngest daughter and you can tell on the cover it doesn't include her name, but on the inside of the book it reveals her name and the story is so cute the illustrations in these books are just really really pretty so you can like I said create all of these books online I did all four of these in about 20 minutes so it doesn't take much time at all and you guys can do that all right from their website which I will have linked down in the description box for you guys I would really 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 encourage you to send someone a meaningful gift or create a meaningful gift for your own kids um, for Christmas this year this one like I said is for my new nephew that is coming and so his bed time story and I was able to dedicate the first page which I think is just such a sweet touch and you can see Aunt Ashley the of all the books that I got this one is probably my favorite because it has all four of my kids in there and you guys will see when I read them the story when when I got to their page they were all just sitting well my two youngest were sitting with me but my older ones were nearby and they were like leaning in and giving hugs as I was reading it so they personalize every page and the you know it's just such a sweet thing to have a book with your personalized name in there and I love what the words say and it was like you know exactly how you feel about your kids but you don't have to think of the words to say yourself so this one was definitely my favorite. I loved how at the end they had this picture here with all their names. And then even um, at the last page when it's the tucking them in goodnight. So all their little names up there. So such a super cute book. We really love this one. So this one is awesome if you want to include more than one child in it and your kids will really love it. But I love you all so very much more. How many toys could there possibly be? 71, 203, under the bed and piled high on the floor. 
Landon, but Landon, I love you a hundred times more. <laughs> the playground is full of incredible things in sandbox and slides and seesaws and swings. Each trip is more fun than the visit before. Olivia, but Olivia, I love you heaps and heaps more. <laughs> Did you make this look long? Mm -hmm. Splashing in puddles on days when it's wet, it's moments like these you could never forget. Look. All right, you guys, so here is my 2020 Christmas home tour. Um, if you are brand new to my channel, I like to always give the disclaimer that my home is not a like Pinterest themed Christmas decor home. I don't buy a whole new round of decor every year. Um, my style and taste is like neutral, farmhouse, woodsy, kind of traditional Christmas vibe. Um, also, you'll I'll go through it and I will be talking about our new flooring. If you have been following me for a while, then you're gonna notice that we've made a lot of well, a lot to us changes downstairs and I'm excited to show you guys my house with my new updates that I am absolutely in love with. Also, most professional YouTubers would never film a Christmas home tour without having their stockings hung. However, this side of my banister requires battery operated garland because there's no outlet there as you can see. And I ordered it, but it's not going to ship in time. So as I go through, envision this side of the staircase wrapped as well, and I'm going to put all of our stockings, which are right here on this side. So let's go through the tour. Um, so when you walk in, this is the entryway of my home. I have my basket of blankets moved over here. One of my favorite things to do when I decorate is just rearrange things I already have. So a lot of this I've had for years. So I will only point out things that I bought this year. Um, to the right of this, I have my plant here. This is something new that I got. This is from Target. It is the Wonder Shop um, brand. And I think it was only $10, which is what I wanted to pay for something like this for a countdown to Christmas. I had one. I do not know what happened to it. Can't find it for the life of me. Don't know if a dog got a hold of it a few years ago, but I wanted another one. So we have this here next to the front door. Um, on the front door, I just have a little sign that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then this is kind of the first thing you see. So I put out this plaid um, table runner here, uh, this Ray Dunn candle. This lamp is new. This is from Home Goods. Um, and then I loved that you can fill the inside. So for fall, I put pumpkins in here. And then for Christmas, I put two um, bottle brush Christmas trees in there. And it looks really pretty um, at night, which obviously I wanted to film in the daylight because it's the best lighting for filming. However, Christmas stuff looks the best at night, but um, I'm sure you guys all know that. So over on the table, like we still have practicality here, like my husband's container for all of his things, but I did put in some stems. Um, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby last year. And then this lighted, um, there's a name for this. This was a gift and I love this. You can see what it's doing on the wall at night. It's even prettier, so I love to have that there. <laughs> For the entryway down below I just have all of our families um, like chat books and things the kids love looking at those those stay out year-round and then down here I have my Jim Shore collection my mother-in-law started this for me a few years ago and every year she gets me a new piece which is something so sweet that she does that I love I love the Grinch that is my most recent one um, but if you guys know anything about Jim Shore, they're really beautiful um, wooden. Uh, they're expensive too. Like they're definitely something that I'll be passing down to my kids when I'm done <laughs> decorating. But I think I'll be decorating until I go to be with the Lord. So 
Anyways, I'm excited to add on another piece this year. I'm hoping for something Disney. I think that would be really fun. So that is everything that is on the entryway table. And there I am. Over here, I just hung a um, plaid blanket on our uh, blanket ladder. And then I put up this like metal. On the TV stand, I just used a wooden um, serving thing that I got at Target, but I use it for decor with three Christmas trees that I've had forever. Um, down in the actual entertainment stand, I placed um, this Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas sign, and then I put out my book stack um, that says Joy to the World. This is from my friend Ashley's Etsy shop. I will have a link to her Etsy shop down below if you guys want to check them out. Um, she makes these custom book stacks, and they're so cute for displaying like that. Um, so that's what I've got going on there. And then on this side, which the lighting is really bright, so I'm going to take it from this angle. You can see I have the little metal barns. Um, they have little lights inside them. I got them in the Target dollar spot last year, and they flicker. And I'm trying to get you guys better lighting. It's really hard. Um with the beaded garland throughout. So that is all that is on the TV stand. Now the main focal point of the room is of course the Christmas tree and I put it in the corner. I asked you guys on my vlog <laughs> where I should put it and you all said in the corner. Uh, last year it was right there. And so this year we put it in the corner and I love it. That's probably where I'll be putting it for, for the future. It did require moving our table that's usually there, which you guys will see, um, but it works out. So down below I have the tree collar, which I got at Home Goods a few years ago. And then this is a flocked Christmas tree. It's fake, obviously, um, that I ordered off of Amazon. This is my second year with it and it held up well. This tree was not insanely expensive, so if I get a few years out of it, I'll be pleased. Um, this tree I decorate with the kids, but it only holds like special ornaments to Jake and I, like this is our first Christmas ornament, um, last year's Disneyland ornament, which I'm sad we won't be there this Christmas. Um, my Baker Basset Hound I got in Michigan last year our um, expecting parents ornament. So this tree holds all of Jake and um, mine are very, our special ornaments. My kids all have small Christmas trees in their rooms and they put all of their personal ornaments on those. So there's our pretty, pretty, pretty Christmas tree. Um, the star topper I got at Target a few years ago. I got asked a lot about that last year. Um, just an overview of the couch here. I've just put out um, a couple Christmas throw pillows. Uh, this one is uh, from Home Goods. It's Ray Dunn. This one I got this year from Costco. That one I don't remember. That one was Hobby Lobby last year. So I just love mixing in the throw pillows. On our little picture ledges above the couch, I have. Uh, that is from my childhood. That is from my childhood. And if you guys know my, you know, personal life story, those things are super meaningful to me because I don't have many things from um, childhood. So those are really special. So I like to have those out. And then I thought it was fun. This was something different I did this year putting that garland there on the picture ledges. I just thought it was fun. And those garlands came from Target last year. So that is what is behind the couch, and I just think it looks really, really pretty. I will give you guys like a little overview of the room with the beautiful tree over there and the TV stand. In my home tours, we leave out the dog beds, <laughs> and it just is like so cozy, and I love it. Um, on my little table tray here, I just have like a faux um, tree from the Target dollar spot last year. This um, little gingerbread thing we've had since my oldest, who's almost 14, was a baby. It doesn't work anymore, but we still put it out because we've had it forever. So that's all that's on there. And then over here, 
on the table. Uh, this table is usually where the Christmas tree is, so it does kind of cut off the walkway space here, but there's still enough of a pathway that it's fine. Uh, down below, I have all of our Christmas books um, that we will be reading in our homeschool this year. So I just fill up that basket. These little Disney coasters are new this year. I got them at Home Goods. Uh, this was a gift years ago. We have it there forever. There's the matching tree to the other one, and then we always have our family picture on that table. So that is what we did there. <clears throat> now, moving over from this angle, um, the stairwell, of course, at night looks beautiful with the garland lit. Um, this Merry Christmas banner is from Target years ago and we are going to get our battery operated garland and it will go along this side over here. This little section of my house, I love. We did that as a DIY with my brother a few months ago. And so I just put up the Christmas garland there and then added a Christmas picture that's new from Hobby Lobby this year. That garland is new from Home Goods this year. That wreath came from Walmart last year. Love it. It was outside last year, but I put it inside because I have something different on my front door this year, which I will show you guys. Uh, that little pillow there I've had for years, and then the stockings are going to go on this side. So I just think... Obviously, the baby gate is not very aesthetic, but we have dogs. Um, our, our stairs look beautiful with the white and the gray. It's like everything I wanted it to be. And so the stockings on this side, I just think like that'll be so beautiful. And I do have the garland continuing all the way up there. So that is that little section. So moving over here onto this wall, I just hung this little... Um, sled on the little hook there that we usually have up anyway. I swapped out the lavender stems there for some like snow covered, I don't know, lamb's ear, eucalyptus maybe. Um, this is our table. Now usually I probably wouldn't have fresh flowers. I would probably have something Christmas related as a centerpiece, but we just had a baby shower and those flowers were beautiful. Didn't want to throw them away, so there they sit. Um, but this year I decided to just do placemats on our table. Uh, these are new this year from Home Goods. I loved that these were reversible. And then I found those ones as well. Uh, so because we do schooling here, we do eating here all day long. And so I just can't have an elaborate tablescape or like fake place settings left out. So this is like a real life table. We just put some Christmas plates on it. Um, so that's all that we've got going on here. Uh, we don't do Elf on the Shelf in our house, but we do have a little Elf that we've had forever that my kids like to see where I set him up at. He doesn't do anything, he's just decor. So he's hanging out up there. Um, but that is like a little overview of the kitchen area. You guys can see Olivia's little playhouse out there. We put a wreath on her door and my husband strung Christmas lights on her playhouse. So it gets dark, obviously, early. So when we're eating dinner, usually we have the, the view of Olivia's little Christmas playhouse and it's really cute. Uh, moving into the kitchen area, you guys are gonna see something that is absolutely beautiful and that is the Shiplap Island. That is another suggestion of my amazing viewers here on YouTube and I'm obsessed. I love it. Fun fact, my father-in-law is a full-blown contractor. He's incredible at what he does, and Jake and his dad did this for my birthday, which is coming very soon from the point of um, when I'm filming this, and they did this in an afternoon, so it's stunning. It's perfect. And I love it so much. You guys can see he like framed it out and then on the side it's finished and it just like, it's better in person, but just the tie-in with the backsplash and then the white granite, I mean, I just love, love, love. So I wanted to show you guys that because a lot of you suggested it and I had thought about doing that before you guys suggested it, but then I showed Jake, I was like, look, everybody says shiplap. And he was like, it gave him the courage to, to do it. And then his dad offered to help. 
and it's perfect. So I love it so much. So here is a little overview of the kitchen area. And you guys can see what we've got going on over here. Um, so right at the sink, I have just a little cake stand with a candle and this little snowman broke his other arm, so I put him like this and you can't even tell. Um, I have my Mrs. Myers holiday everything here. I'll put a link to Grove. Um, it's not sponsored by Grove or anything, but I do have a link for, that you guys can get a free gift of a lot of these scents because they just make your house smell amazing during the holidays, you can get them for free if you've never ordered. Um, in my little book stand, I have another book stack from my friend Ashley's shop. I have just, I, I like doing this, but it is a little bit of a challenge. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what we've got going on in here. Um, my little snowbirds down here, a little piggy Christmas sign. You guys know I love my gnomes, so I stuck those up there. Um, I only left one little thing of greenery. We've got the beaded garland coming out the side and then like a little milk um, thing. What are these called? Can't think. Um, with candy canes. So just a little Christmas touch there that I really love. Uh, moving over to this direction. See, professional people don't have hydro flasks in their videos. Um, but this is our coffee bar area. So let me just move this over so you guys can see it. I got this this year from Walmart. Love that. Obsessed. So cute. Uh, this little stand, I just put out some Christmas mugs. This garland is from my friend Ashley's shop, which I'll have linked for you guys. I think she's offering a coupon code for you as well. So if you're interested in supporting her, you can check it out. This was a gift. It's from Crate and Barrel, and I just fill it with our Christmas K cups. So that is what is in the little coffee bar section of my kitchen, which I love. On my mug rack here, I just put a wreath and then a few little wooden signs that I got from the Target dollar spot years ago. Um, up on top of the fridge is a little trio of gnomes and I put them up there because last year my dogs would not stop trying to eat my gnomes. You can see they're on little like wooden stands and it's cute and I like them up there. So they're hanging out up on top of the kitchen. Um, turning into my kitchen, you can see I left out my normal runner, but I have had this rug forever and it's gray and white, which are like two of my favorite colors. And I thought I'll just put it in front of the stove. I thought that was cute. Over here, I've got my Basset Hound um, salt and pepper shakers. And then I did order a ton of antique candle farm candles. Um, or I'm sorry, antique candle company candles, soy candles. This one is tree farm and it's the small one, but I got a bunch of them and I ordered so many gifts. This is like my new obsession. So love them. I filled my little cake stand over here with Hershey kisses. These, uh, can um, peppermint candy cane ones are so good. The sugar cookie ones were new to us this year. Delicious. So that's what's going on over here. And then I displayed two little Christmas pictures that I have received from my kids right there on the side. And I just keep it simple in the kitchen um, because, you know, it's the kitchen and we need counter space. Over here, I just hung this little Christmas tree farm sign. I think that I got that at Hobby Lobby maybe two years ago. And then I just put a simple wreath on our barn door into our pantry there. Over here is something new. I've been asked a lot recently, you guys have seen this in my videos, um, and I've actually been asked quite a bit where I got this. So this is from Hobby Lobby, and I got it for 40% off. I think it was $2.50. My daughter saw it, because you guys know we just got a travel trailer over the summer, and love it. So that's where we got it. So I like using the dish drying mat, um, like a Christmas themed one. I think that's fun. And then I just have a little Christmas towel here that I got from Walmart this year hanging on my dishwasher. So here's an overview look at my living room from my kitchen. And you guys, I just love my new flooring. I feel like my house finally is like exactly the look I was going for. We did have to end up replacing our ba my baseboards. Um, there's a cool story to that too, but 
yeah, the, the baseboards are new and they're a little larger and they're freshly painted. So it just looks really crisp and white like I like it. And so here's the couch again, the living room area. And yeah, I just am very happy with how everything turned out. I couldn't wait to decorate this year. Um, I will show you guys the little bit of decorating I did in my school room. I don't do a ton up there. I'll show you guys that here in a second. So here is the half bath. Um, I do a little bit of decorating for the holidays in the half bath because this is the bathroom people use when they come. So I just put a few little things on the shelves. These were new this year from the Target dollar spot. I think I got them around Thanksgiving time. Here's another one of the candles. Peppermint smells so good. Up here I just stacked some blocks that say joy. Um, on this side, I just do like a little Christmas towel trio set there, and then I also decorate just a little bit on the little stand. Um, of course, holiday soap and a little Christmas tree over there, and that's really all I do in the half bath. Just a little touch so when people come over and they use the bathroom, it is Christmassy in there as well. So I told you guys I had something new on my front door. So there is my new, it says Joy. I got that off of Amazon. I will link it. This is new, um, this Be Merry sign. I showed it in another vlog. Uh, that is from Walmart. I tied these little like vintage looking bells on my door. We have our Christmas mat here, which the lighting is hard in the morning. Um, on this little bench, I just have like the black and red pillows there. And of course our house has Christmas lights covering it. And then over here, uh, let's see how I can get you guys better lighting little bit you can kind of see it's really hard outside it's so bright right now. yeah so this one is red and this one is black both of those came from Walmart and I just stacked them on a little container upside down put them by the front door and it looks really pretty at night so yeah I was going with the reds the whites the black and red kind of plaid look for my front porch and I'm really happy with how it looks just simple but cute and welcoming for family and friends coming over during Christmas time. So like I mentioned, my house I feel is very cozy. It's realistic. It's not um, something that I, you know, spend thousands of dollars on each year doing new things. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed a look at my Christmas home decor tour. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, check out Wonderbly if you wanna get some really, really sweet personalized gifts for the special kids in your life. I will have a link down in the description box for you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed a little decor tour. That's not something you would ordinarily find on my channel, but I love doing them every year and I hope you guys enjoy them too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy decorating your homes and making them feel cozy. And I will see you all in my next video really soon. Bye guys.